Hello and very well welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can create a custom UI view class with XIV in Swift. So for this, first we will create a custom UI view class. So new file and we will go to Cocoa Touch class and we will name it now record view as we will going to create a custom view class that contains an icon and a label that shows user that no records were found for the specific actions. So here our file no record view is a subclass of UI view class. Now here you are seeing that the also create XIV file option is disabled by Xcode. But if I made my class a subclass of UI view controller then this option is, is enabled and I can select it so that Xcode can create can generate the no record view controller xiv and swift file together and link them with each other but that's not the case if i select ui view class so in this tutorial we will learn how we can link our new record view.swift file with no record view.xiv and use it in our project so now first create no record view.swift file next create and now we need to create uh, XIV for the class or Swift file. We create it right now. So here, new file, and here under the user interface section, we will select view, and we will name it no record view, and the name is same as per our Swift file, no record view dot xiv create and here xcode created the xiv file. But this xiv file is not linked to our Swift file. For this, if you go to file owner, here you can see in the file owner inspector that the class is an object. So in order to link it with no record view dot Swift, we will name change the class no record view now. The XIV file and .swift file are linked with each other. Now it's time to design our interface in our no record view.xiv. For this, we will use an icon that shows that no record found and a label. So the icon is already imported by me into my asset catalog, and this is the icon. So we are going to use this icon no result. So now in no record view.xiv, here if you go here, you can see that there is only a safe area. So for this, first we will add UI view and we will align it to the center of our view and here now we need to add UI image view and here we go image view is added inside this view for example you can name it content view and here we will name it icon nozzle and we will give it a constraint zero from the top leading trailing we will not give we will just give height and width so 97 97 so that because this container will increase as per our label message so add three constraints and now here and also this is horizontal that it will remain in the center of the view so horizontal in container now we need to add a ui label so ui label and we will add it here and we will give it a constraint with top with respect to image view of 20 pixel leading will be 40 and 40 and 20 bottom so here it is our view is created now we can connect this label using an ib outlet so here we will create a create ib outlet weak grass lbl now record of type UI label. Now in no record view.xiv, we will go to file owner, double click on it, and connect this label. Okay, now if we are going to use our node code view class in our view controller, so shall we are able to display the icon in view, just find out by just creating a simple instance no record view is equals to no record view class and 
it is using frame initializers is used at 20.0 and 100 is the y position width 300 height 300 and here is self dot view dot add sub view as no record view now, now run the app and now see whether this icon and label are shown on our view controller or not so here nothing appears why because this no record view dot swift file is not aware that from where the interface will be picked up so it's imagining that we will write code inside this file so that, that the controls will be displayed wherever this view class is added as a subview. But in our case, we are going to use our XIV for our interface of this node code view. So how we can access that node code view dot XIV. So for this, we need to override two initializers. One is init frame, so super dot init with frame frame so that we can create it programmatically and second one is init with coder so that whenever this node code view class is used in some other xiv or in storyboard view controller xiv so this coder will be invoked so super dot init with coder coder and right here now we just override these methods so that they are invoked whenever a user wants to either create our instance of node code view class programmatically or inside the storyboard. But still now we didn't use the node code view dot xib. So how we can use it? So for this we will create a function and name it common init. And here we will create let view from x i b is equals to bundle dot main dot load nib name and name of the nib owner will be self and options will be nil and name we are the same name as per dot zip file so we will copy it and here it will turn us an array so zero object as UI view. So here it's saying that it should not be nil, so we just force unwrap it. Now we will add this view from XIV to our this node called view as a sub view. So view from XIV, and now we will give this view from XIV dot frame is equal to self dot bounds so whatever the frame of this node called view will be the frame of our view from xiv and that's it so now if i go to view controller dot swift and i will run this code here you can see that the icon and the label will be there oops sorry we didn't invoke this, so first we will invoke this in common init and now run it. And here you can see the label is there. Similarly, we will invoke this method here in our coder class so that whenever we are using programmatically, we will able to display the icon and the label so in order to if you want to change the label then no code view dot lbl no code dot text is equals to no record and here it is programmatically now if you want to use the no record view class in the xib you can also do it so if you want to create an ib outlet then ib outlet tweak back no record view of type node code view and in your main dot storyboard 
inside your view controller, drag a UI view and give it a constraints, horizontal and vertical in the center and height and width will be 300 and 300. Now we'll change the class to it as null code view and connect our IB outlet and in our view controller we just simply give node code view dot lbl node code dot text is equals to no code from story board and now let's run the app So here you can see node code programmatically, node code from storyboard, but since it's the height is big, so that's why you are not seeing so 200. So here you can see so this one is from the storyboard and this is drawn programmatically. So here in this video you learn how you can create a custom UI view class with XIB in Swift. If you have any concerns, then please write down your concern in the comment and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And also, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe it as we are going to bring more tutorials on Swift and Swift UI in near future. Lastly, thanks for watching and bye for now.